Hi guys, I just started to start a vlog now. Just me coming back from work. I'm heading home from work. And today I just want to chat with you guys. I told you guys to put your comment below what video would you like me to do. So I saw somebody wrote that what you need to do or what you need to, yeah what you need to do something like that more or less when you are trying for a baby so when i get home i'm going to do a video regarding what you need to do or what i am doing why i'm trying to conceive baby number two so i hope you uh, you enjoy this video please like subscribe and share and i will see you guys when i get home because the hell is healing <laughs> don't mind me there is so much hills so i'm going to take a bus and i'll see you guys later bye i'm back yeah i'm not wearing my uniform my god just got changed and yes let me answer your question this is a chill video so your question is like what to do when trying to conceive this is what I do. I'm not a medical doctor or any fertility advisor or I don't have any degree. This is what I do and, and it's what a lot of people are doing and it's something that I believe that will help. When I had Mason, I was doing all these things but now that I'm trying to conceive, we are trying to conceive. So this is what we are doing what we are avoiding and what we are doing so number one is to avoid alcohol your medical doctor will tell you that to avoid alcohol alcohol is a no 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 to avoid the amount another one to avoid uh, the amount of caffeine that you are taking like if you are the person that take a lot of coffee or a lot of tea tea contain caffeine or a lot of coca-cola all of them, all these fizzy drinks, some of them contain caffeine. So try and minimize them. Like I'm not a hot drink person, Steven is not, so it's very easy for us. We do take like Coca-Cola, but we barely take Coca-Cola in this house. We take more Diet Coke than Coca-Cola. And Diet Coke is less caffeine but still we don't, I don't really believe them that much what they say. So uh, we try to take less and uh, minimize smoking we don't smoke in this house smoke in in our in in our house let's say smoke is bound so if you're trying to conceive try not to smoke i know it's very difficult for people that smoke smokers but yeah us none of us smoke so it's very easy for us so try another one what we are trying we are doing is like balance your diet if you are not a healthy person like healthy eater try to balance your diet get more vegetable get more fruit in your system get more avocado minerals there's a lot of food and also dry fruit like cashew nuts nuts they are very good for fertility as well so all these things right from time i'm always like the person that eats avocado fruit vegetable and etc so it's easy for me to continue eating it because literally i didn't even take it off or then i didn't add it more but i just eating it and like not cashew dry fruits i do eat them normally steven don't like nuts so he's not eating them so yeah so in the men's side this one in the men try avoid if your partner avoid heat like heat down there down this testicle testicle doesn't need heat when you're trying to conceive because apparently the heat stop the the is it the quantity no not the quality the quality of the sperm the heat like stop it make it the like heat minimize them like it's like heat make this the swimmers die it doesn't like you are clean them so you don't want to kill them you want to so tell your pa partner to avoid like wearing a lot of boxes that is tight or trousers that is tight or anything that is, will make him to like heating up his testicles avoid that like hot bath avoid it yeah and uh, what else be active active wife we are active because both of us work so we are active 
But yes, when we had Mason, the work that Steven was doing there was more active than now what he's doing now. What he's doing now is more mental thing and yeah. But what he was doing before when we got pregnant of Mason was active job. Why me? I wasn't because that was during COVID, so I lost my job then. So I wasn't doing anything. I was stress free, nothing, and I think that was what helped a lot. So another one avoid stress but this one i would say this is least 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 for me personally because it's very difficult when you are trying to conceive to avoid stress yeah stress always there but try to avoid it try to keep your mind busy try to do something that you normally like doing so avoid stress and one of the lot of thing avoid doing strong like let's say that you like going to gym or doing yoga look on the line yoga that is good for people that are trying to conceive the same thing with men exercises because there is some exercises that is not good for your sperm apparently it kills your sperm so avoid them but i'm not a medical doctor you do the research you research those ones on your own because i don't want to say something but something that i don't know so this is what we are doing. I don't go to gym, just going to work and uh, it's, it's, it's a gym for me. Just doing my job is, is, is enough for me. Steven, sometimes he goes to gym, he goes to gym, gym that he, is work, his work provide gym for them. So he goes to gym sometimes. Um, what else I've said caffeine, just do, yeah. Add uh, ovulation test into your, routine so you know your body you need to know your body most very very important when you're trying to conceive you need to know your body to know your fetal window to know when you need to do more yes because when you are trying to conceive it's very difficult yeah sex is not like how it is before it is enjoyable but sometimes it's not really because sometimes you are not in the mood but you are in your peak time you have to do it because you are trying to conceive so know your body know when you are in fetal window know when you are ovulating so try to track your ovulation ovulation very important uh also make sure you are taking your prenatal vitamins very very important the same thing with your partner uh all those good 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 things that you you need medic yeah yes you're eating a good food but at the same time you need some vitamin to boost your relation to boost your yeah uh, your you know also you need folic acid very very important folic acid so add folic acid in your routine your daily routine i think yeah i take folic acid every day once a day just to help you to help to prepare the bed let's say how i describe it like folic acid help to prepare the bed for baby to come in and lay on i don't know if you understand what i mean at the same time where the bed it helps to prepare the bed it helps to prepare the baby when you then when you you are pregnant continue taking fully as it it helps you with your brain your baby development with your baby health wise brain wise and to avoid uh, any syndrome or anything out there that you don't want your baby to catch yeah fully acid helps so Poly acid is very very important and yeah you have if you search online you will see what folic acid do i'm not a medical doctor so i can't say much but yes i know that folic acid do a lot of good thing in there yeah so if you do all these things and i'm just wishing you all the best and i believe that you will carry your baby very soon so yeah yes guys i hope this video helped somebody out there because that's my aim and i hope that i answered your question i also saw that if yoga helps for fertility uh if you can do yoga why try to conceive of course you can do yoga but there is different type of yogas because don't do the yogas that we 
stress you you have to do minimal ones you don't have to do too many just to avoid stress because what you need in it's not you just need relaxing but yeah i would say meditation is a lot better but yes of course you can do yoga but try not to do the hard ones just to avoid stress no don't stress your body i know it's difficult not to stress but this is like this is real life even people that doesn't trying to conceive do stress so this life sometimes a lot of things that you're going to make you stress but yeah good luck good luck to you all and good luck to me see you guys in our next video thank you bye bye